Hi, welcome to about part 15, I think it is. Oh. Sorry about this, I'm standing above the suit, so I've got about 50. I've got an arse shouting at me, and all the stores going, Hey, do you want to buy my stuff? Even though you can't, because there's no such thing as currency in this game. Well, you know. Huh? So, in this commentary, I was going to talk about many things. First of all, I was going to talk about life choices. I, I talk about this a lot, but quite frankly, I can't stress it enough. Even though I have a small audience, you small audience should know, never discriminate about someone. I mean, like, I know you sound like some sort of Disney Channel kitty, and I, I mean, like, you know, it just isn't fun. The second thing is, one of my friends, uh, um, I've got some, I, I, like, I don't know, I have BB guns, so that's why I do a lot of filming. And one of my friends got this 350 shotgun I have, it's a M3000. And, <coughs> by Smith and Weston, 350 FPS with 180 mag capacity, buy it now for only $60 with a pistol. And basically he shot a mouse with it. And this literally ripped the mouse's skin off, I am not kidding. It was point blank, and it, it had a hole in it about this, about this big in the BB. Let's go size show you that size does matter. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. Um no, but yeah. And quite frankly Hutch made a video today. Guess what he made it about? It wasn't about whether he wants to carry on. It wasn't about him deciding to make more montages. It wasn't about him getting bored of Halo 3 or something. It was about him choosing whether to shave his moustache or not. Entertaining stuff. Is that what I should start doing? Should I start going like, Hey, look, I have a t-shirt on. Should I wear it with a jumper? You decide. I mean, it isn't really that even a good moustache. I mean, like, if you've seen I Run From Knives, he's just good in moustaches. Yeah, so I'm still in Jerusalem. I'm still in Jerusalem. And I'm sorry, but um, I do do these in bulk, so... Yeah, if you have commented on the video, which I doubt, because the f like the highest ever viewed one was said part seven so far, and no one commented on that, and only this guy called Bad King subscribed. So you know, yeah, please comment. Um, rating is the easiest thing to do on YouTube, so you should do that because it all takes like two clicks, and it's like yes or no. And who are saying yes or no? So, is it, is it really that hard? Do you need someone to help click for you? Oh, I'm joking, you know, you do what you want. Do what you want for the last three. I'm trying to follow this squad about in the next thing. No, you don't understand. I have nothing. Yeah, it's really trying to keep it stealthy. Ah, oh, I I seem to have died. Ah, I am a monk. Ah, oh, monkiness. I just want to kill the captain because I've actually never assassinated the captain before, like apart from in the missions. Well, only like when they're attacking me, and that's nothing. Surely, if I was an important person, I would want the best security around me. I wouldn't want privates around me, and I don't mean like private parts, but I would actually like. But. <laughs> No, I would like, you know, I would like, um, captains to be around me. Damn it, I have knives. I forgot about that. Isn't the best building to do, man? That's why I'm standing on looking at me. I'll try and wear them out a bit more, because when you do that, then you can put... Oh, my God! They usually drop off and injure themselves. They sometimes die. Um, see, so yeah, that's always good. No, I no offense, but um, these guys that follow me around, I'm not sure, they're like, you know, they're those thugs that try and kill the guards. Surely, if they wanted to help me out, they would, I don't know, have me bring pocket knives with them. So when they saw me, oh look, there's them running away from a bunch of guards. What should we do to help? Let's just grab their arm. It's still punishable by death. But. It helps, not at all, but it didn't really help that much. So, you know, they could have, like, attacked them with knives and stuff. And then you'd like, I don't know. I think I'll have to escape. 
That's the good thing about running away, that you, can, you kill about the same uh, amount if you just stand and fight. Oh, still coming! Infidel! You will die! Keep up with him! Don't let him get away! Uh, what was I saying? You know. Damn me, sword. I don't know what I mean by that. It's, it's Sword's Law, it's got loads of different names. Like, but what it is basically, when Sword's, uh, there was a Scottish guy called Sword's, and every time he played for something, it, it wouldn't happen. And every time he did fight something, no, what? Every time he played for something, it wouldn't happen. And every time he played for something not to happen, it would happen. So, yeah. And now she's now shouting at me. Seriously, what the hell is going on here? Oh, I'm gonna fight whoever's left. They deserve it. You'll never get away. Oh, I won't fight it. Well. Um, yeah. So this is the person who dies. I'm gonna move that high. It was good. It's that guy who just died. Why is this series called Sherlock Holmes, which is a BBC one? Um, this guy, basically, he makes this comparison where he says the home is his eyes and ears. I agree with that to an extent. Anyone is your eyes and ears, as long as you help them out. You know, unless they're deep back, because then they probably will kick you in the gonads when it comes down to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. What I don't understand is that they get all these guys to like pick up and say, hey look, the art you should join our army. And then, you know, surely an able bodied man like him, who's just, who's not able bodied anymore, of course, should be able to, you know, do stuff, should be able to fight. And as you just see there, that's the one of the second speed fault. It will sometimes go black and white. I bet you, if the guards would like to give me life, like half of them wouldn't even chase me now. Oh, God. You will not get away from me. <laughs> I've actually had it before, I was actually standing on the top and turned through a rock, it hit me, and I fall off. I'm splat. I've actually got to see how much health I've got. Nobody, nobody actually knows that like, Assassin's Creed is actually a very good, um, in the cinema tool, because you just say not to turn off everything, but, you know. Where did that guy come from? Seriously, the AI are like, oh, he's running. Oh, he's across two little lines, three little lines, four, and oh, I found him, got him. Because when he gets, when he cross five little lines, like different ones, then they give up. I mean, I guess if you stay yellow for that amount, or if you just kill them all. It's a lot easier killing them all than just running past five little lines. I don't even know what ritual means, I should Google that. But I will after this commentary, so you'll know about it in the next one. Um, yeah. No, but I'm a man about town, and I know that stuff go, goes on, and I just heard that Ed Miliband won the, um, Labour election, and for some reason his name stuck in my head, so I think he's actually going to win the next, the uh, next proper election. I mean, like, Woo! I mean, like, he's going to win the next one, but quite frankly, I think Ed Balls is together. Because, you know, um, though he, ha he has a funny name, that's the first thing, Balls Hurt. Oh! Yes! And, damn you, could you get that flag? Um, no, but what I mean is, like, Ed, Miller, Ed Balls could have had a strong chance, because if he was, as he was a school's minister, then the young people would have thought, oh, look, he's a good person. Let's give, let's vote for him. Surely that's a good thing. But then you have people who are like, oh, if we vote for the other guy, no one would actually know what he's ever done. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure he does. I mean, I think it was the Shadow Foreign Secretary. What does Shadow even mean? Like, follows the real Foreign Secretary around and just sees what he does? I was like, oh yeah, he's in his bathtub. He's using head and shoulder shampoo. Oh yeah. And now, 
Another thing I might say is that, um, you may hear me doing a lot of name blocking of brands. I have not been paid because I have not got any views, pretty much. And who wants to view a video that has no... And who wants to sponsor a guy who has no views? I just do it because it's the first brand that comes to my head. And then I'll say, and... He has a... And I'm not... And then I'll say, you know, and do you do some... Oh, what do you do? Oh, he's wearing shampoo. No, I don't say that. I can just say, oh, he's using head and shoulders. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah. Stay on him. I'm not even sure where I am, the camera's going to sit well. Am I getting am I, am I, am, you will not get away from Am I in some sort of first person view? Thank you. Yeah. Well, I sorry about that. I had to kill you because you were attacking me. And then right, yeah, why are all those arts and cybers in this game? And also, if he could defend that good, well, like, maybe he can defend very well. Why don't they just defend that well, like, when I'm attacking them? Surely that would have given them a higher chance of survival. And also, I think there should be guards that are more aggressive and weaker, like, I mean, like, you know, disarming in Assassin's Creed 2 could pretty much just take out any guard ever. And yeah, in this game is counter attack. Ah! And yeah. So, yeah, um I would play Assassin's Creed 2 and show you that. But there's only two a prob one problem with that and that's kind of simple. The one problem with Assassin's Creed 2 is um I've got a new PSP hard drive, like not that recently, but I, didn't, I, but I couldn't like. copy um, Assassin's Creed 2 over to the new hard drive even though I wanted to. So, you know, if you've got Assassin's Creed 1, and do you enjoy it? Do you not care? But yeah, I'm going to try and swap it over so you can so you can get more Assassin's Creed 2. And I'm probably going to render... Um, I think it's part up to part... I'm going to do part six up to part 16 today and render all of them, and that's minimum. And I know what you're thinking, oh my god, I can't believe it, he's doing a positive thing. You know, um, yeah I am, but still. And also, this guy hasn't, has been buried, like, Rob, this is the Merchant King's way here. And, um, he's been buried. But what I mean is, like, he hasn't actually been, you know, they haven't had the funeral yet. What, what's up with that? You know, surely all the gods, well look, he's already been buried. You know, shouldn't the funeral have been when he was being buried? So this is AC Assassin's Creed teabagging, and I'm not going to be able to take that out of multiplayer. In fact, teabagging. I wonder where a woman is. Oh. You're not beautiful. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to wait for her to go down. Well, she isn't beautiful, but still. Oh, she just disappeared. So what the? What the hell? What? And you only just notice that Mark's fleeing away from the scene. Oh, oh, oh. We oh, you just noticed into me. I'm going to cut you with a sword. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm not going to hit you I'm going to that quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say I've done this in the boat, and I think I'll just do this fight, and then I'll leave you to be... Uh, well, I'm him. He's here. Uh, uh, why don't you have like about if there's if I'm trying to buy about ten guards, why don't ten guards then suddenly all of a sudden just strike at one time? You know what I mean? Yeah, this has been exactly worth it. 14 minutes first second.